Hello everybody and welcome to another live stream. And hello Paul and Corey, how are you both doing? And Ben Freeman's doing good. And hello to him as well. Paul's doing good too. <sighs> Corey's all right. I've just caught Ben listening to some songs from the GMTV programme, The Wheels on the Bus. Now. Remember in the last live stream when Ben was talking about the Chuckle Vision DVDs and VHS tapes? Yes. Well, there was a Chuckle Vision DVD which Ben didn't tell me about. Was my opinion on Toby's Travelling Circus? Well, the only thing that I like about it is that it's made by my free model making company. Company. Uh, McKinnon and Saunders. The DVD is called Called Traveller Two More Bombing Episodes from Series One. Ben likes Toby's Traveling Circus too. And it even the stars and it even stars the voice of none other than Jimmy Hibbert.
I bet that's heard that. If Oscar Bunn was ever doing a real TV series based off of Bill Diff and then it flipping on CBBC, Jimmy Hibbert could be one of the voices which he mentioned about on the Oscar Barnett Show. Hi there, Charles Perez of watching BBC's Look North, Newcastle. Cool channel. Ben's heard of Look North. And hello Steve, how are you doing? Steve's changed his profile picture, picture to a stack of DVDs. And he's doing good. And hello, Mayday 51! Chow has a 1988 VHS compilation called Children's Favourites, released on the VCI and Tim's video, which has the city, sh which has the s uh, 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 TE show, Rainbow, and Button Moon. Look North is also broadcast in other regions in the North, including the Northwest. And East Yorkshire and Lincolnshire as well, in the northeastern Cumbria. And Yorkshire and the North Midlands. Steve has the has uh, the adventures of uh, adventures of Buttermilk on DVD.
Take a pillow, take a pillow, fun for you and me. What's my top favourite out of Ben's board to play Bob the Builder toys and why? Let me think. I like, like Muck because, because he is the coolest digger in town. Mady 51 only has paper chase on Button Moon, which is released in the style as VCI, in the same style as VCI's watch and play video series. Shell also has has Adventures on Button Moon on DVD too. It's a Pearson television video release in 2001. Speaking of Tickabilla, Steve has Tickabilla Jive and Playtime introducing Tickabilla on DVD. Shell has Tickabilla, Itsy Winty and Other Stories, the 2007 Carry Case DVD. I really want Playtime introducing Tickabilla, 2004 says Corey. And speaking of Tickabilla, when, when Ben asked me to re-upload the Tickabilla joy, he meant, could, he meant that I could re-upload that bonus feature on the Playtime introducing Tickabilla DVD. Oh yes, I can do that. Maybe he could upload that on Saturday. What's my favourite song featured on the Tickabilla 45 minute special from Playtime Introducing Tickabilla? I think I like Funny Family. Like, you know, the one that goes, There was a funny family. Yes. Ben's on the Funny Family song and the weather song. That was Playtime with Tickabilla. There's also a promotional DVD from the Daily Mail, and they released the Ticket Brilla DVD. The first four episodes of Rocky and the Dodos were, pardon me, were broadcast on CITV back when they still had that medieval CITV town, town film and Steve Wright announcing the programs back in April to May 1998. <sighs> Corey likes rock, the rock and roll song and also he likes the clavier song. Steve's favourite song is the Ticker Miller Jive. <laughs> when the episode Dodo Dodo Abduction and the rest of the series was being brought Cast when CITV first had Stephen Mulhern. Yeah. 
when Siri TV first had Stephen Mulhood and Daniel Nichols as Envision presenters. Oh, where are you? Everybody clap to the music. As well as the Chuckle Vision DVD, Travel, and two more balmy episodes from Series 1, there is another one called Puppets, and two more balmy episodes from Series 2. Here we go, everybody clap to the music. Look on Those Choco Vision DVDs, these must, must be cheaper alternatives to getting the complete series box set. <laughs> Clap your hands and do a little wiggle. Clap, clap your hands and do a little wiggle. Like those Mr. Mel and Little Miss VHS releases that Delta also got involved with. Paul's listening to the Children Need Medley from 2009. It's so, and it's so catchy. Bailey fifty one is two of them. Mr. Strong, King of the Circus. And Mr. Impossible's lesson. One, two, three, four, five. Take it to the side and back into the middle. We're doing the Tickabilla Jive. <sighs> Did you not know that Abbey Home Media released some audio cassettes of the Railway series? It's read by, by Ted Robbins. No, I didn't. They were released under the Tempo Read label from 1994 to 1995. Oh, where are you? Everybody stretched to the music. Shout has Mr. Men and Little Miss. Mr. Tickle saves the day in other stories. The 1997 VHS released under Fox. The Tickabilla Jive will be featured on the next episode of TV Burp as the song at the end. What's my favorite Lazy Town song? It'll be from the Tickabilla Jave DVD. I think I like 
cooking by the book and um, that song from uh, Surprise Santa Fun fact, Ted Robbins was also from Liverpool as well as Ring of Star, Michelangelo's and Mark Morrigan. Steve's favourite is teamwork. Ted Robbins was an announcer for the goal the Roy Walker era catchphrase really for the Robbins. Charles watching the 1995 UK VHS of Disney's The Aristocats, 1970. Oh. Cool, I have that VHS too. After this, Steve's go gonna watch his new DVD called The Wiggles. Here comes the big red car. Chow also has has the 2001 UK DVD of Disney's The Aristocats as well. I'm not even sure which DVD release I have. Means well. Milford means well. Made 51 remembers that DVD. Which DVD made you 51? That, the Wiggles DVD or the Aristocats DVD? The Wiggles. You may have the 2008 UK DVD, which would be the 2014 reissue. Yep, you just, you, you are right, Chill. It was the 2008 DVD, I think, because as you can see, it says Disney's Fast Play. More like not Disney's Not So Fast Play. Do I know any other Tickabilla episodes presented by Amit Sharma as well as Dressing Up in Heroes? Ben Fink's Amit was on the episode Wiggles and Wingnut, but he's but but Ben's not sure. I get knocked out. 
the original 2008 release. What and well, at least it wasn't that 2014 reissue. <laughs> Wingles and Wingnuts was one of the episodes featuring a story from Summerton Mill narrated by Silas Hawkins. This Disney DVD is enhanced with Disney's fast play. Your movie and a selection of bonus features will begin automatically. To bypass fast play, select the main menu button at any time. Fast play will begin in a moment. The Aristocats 2001 UK DVD has the 1994 Disney videos ID as the one 100 Years of Magic promo marks the very use of the 2001 Walt Disney Home Entertainment ID. Have I seen the episode Tall, Small and Textures? No, I haven't. What's this awful, great, great Dis Disney release? That awful, great Disney release was Buzz Lightyear Star Command. The adventure begins. But don't worry, at least I have the VHS of it as well. That episode, as Ben remembers, was presented by Lorna Laidlaw and Paul Ewe. And Paul Ewe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yui, it's pronounced as Yui. Oh yes. Char has the original 2001 release with the artwork. Minus the 2013 reissue with the same file data as the 2001 release. Okay. Thank you. Also, Amy presented an episode that Corey remembers watching called Dancing Animals. Ben wonders. That's how I bought to play Bob the Builder toys.
tweets and reacted to over to on YouTube. Hello and welcome to YouTube News with your reporter Ben Freeman. The disc artwork has the evil emperor Zerg. Zerg it has fighting, but wait, but mine is boring. You're right, Chill. I might plan to get the original release at some point, but I don't know where I'll get it from. I don't think I'll use Amazon or eBay as they might sell the DVD with the boring grey disc. We, we now go live to see how Jax Williams is born to play Bob the Builder to it have reacted to his recent comeback. Emperor Zerg is also a character in Winnie the Pooh Toys family. What other great disc DVD, Disney DVDs do you have? Do I have? The Fox and the Hound, The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, um, Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, Cars 2, Brave, Monsters University, And let me check if finally if I have the final story DVD of the greatest. Yes, I do. Think. I have cars free with green discs, but I'm not sure. <laughs> May the poo toy May the poo toys family's answer to Cooper Fruper from My Toys Family Superstar. I think the return of Jack Williams is so cool as a mule. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, indeed it is cool. Did I know that Bob the Builder, Ed O'Neill Jr? Yes, I did, Steve. It's a good thing Jack came back in time. And he turned on that much in the process, like me. The late Sterling Hol Holloway also voiced Rogue Foot the Mouse in Disney's The Aristocats, and and Phil Ravenscott also voiced the Russian cat. When I heard that Jack was coming back, I felt 
so happy. Well, everyone, here's Brick. Can we celebrate it? Yes, we can. Right, everybody, eat it time! <laughs> Well, as Vicky has gone out, I have cooked you up a real treat. Spoon for a nice hot cup of tea. Ben would never tell someone to, to reply quickly nowadays, that's for sure.
that's approved of it. Corey's approved too. He's no longer disabled. But... And of course, Bremer just try his best not to nag. I don't know how to disable it.
Let's have to try again. <laughs> 